There have been 142 exonerations of inmates in the United States who were on death row. 142, and this is since 1970. Um, and so Amnesty International realizes that this is a serious issue because innocent people are being sentenced to the death penalty. Uh, so they put out this very, very impressive ad campaign. And what they did is they took photos, and these are um, you know, uh, replicas of what innocent inmates ate for their last meal before being executed. So let's look at the first one. So this was uh, Claude Jones's last meal. He was executed in 2000. He was proved to be innocent in 2010. Now, it's obviously an incredibly serious story, but as I look at that last meal, I think he was playing it right. That is a lot of eggs, right? And no, like I love eggs. I love sunny side up eggs. And I would never have that many. That's crazy, right? Unless it's your last meal, in which case, what difference does it make? The only thing is I would have added bacon. Now, getting back to the seriousness of the story, 142 killed uh, when they were innocent. That's why I switched on the death penalty. Look, I'm... You know, I don't know if you want to call me conservative, or Neanderthal, or whatever in that sense, but I believe in justice, and I think part of justice is somebody kills someone you love, I don't get why they should get to keep on living. But the reason I switched is we're killing the wrong people. So if you care about justice and you're killing the wrong people, uh, well, that's a double whammy. Uh, it's injustice on top of injustice. So nobody in their right mind should be in favor of the death penalty, and the death penalty is now obviously sinking in popularity in America, not because fundamentally or philosophically or ideologically you should be opposed to it, but you should be opposed to it in practice. That's why I love these pictures, because it shows you, it makes you think about the guy eating that meal, eating yes. all those eggs, and, it, and th get into his mind for a second. It, what he must have been thinking in that last I'm meal. I'm about to die for some crime that I did not commit. And you have to come to terms with that. And there have been cases of uh, death row inmates who have been exonerated, and of course they get interviewed by the media, and they talk about what it's like to accept it and just kind of move on and know that, all right, well, it's the end for me. Um, and then, uh, you know, finally they get proven innocent because of wonderful organizations like the Innocence Project. You know, they do the DNA testing and they find out, no, this person is actually not guilty. And of course, it's the best day of their lives. Um, but you have to come to terms with it because otherwise you're going to be terrified till the moment you die. And, and by the way, if you're a believer in the death penalty and we killed the wrong 142 people, should we put the death, the people who accident, not, I mean, I don't know if it's accidental, but they killed them. They killed him, right? Well, also the keep prosecutor. In mind, the yes, prosecutor. Yes. Should we put them to death? I mean, there are cases where the prosecutors, uh, or, or even even the the person, the lawyer, the public defender who is trying to make a case uh, in favor of their innocence, right, will plant evidence. Like we've done stories like that, right, mm -hmm. where where they will find evidence and they'll, they'll hide it so the person will get convicted because they just want the case to move on, they just want to convict someone. Because they want to win, they want to win. win. Yeah. I'd put that guy in jail. But if you're a believer in the death penalty, then you do you know, kill the prosecutor. And then if you get that wrong, do you kill the prosecutor who killed the prosecutor? See, this is madness. Yeah. So, and, and they bring it to life here with these pictures and you know, as you look through them, you think, oh, well that guy likes steak and this guy liked... All right, so this is David Spence's last meal. He was executed in 1997. He was presumed <sighs> innocent uh, in 2000. And I, it makes it personalized exactly. Look, I like chicken wings, I like Coke. I mean, what meal would I have eaten, right? And then you're in his shoes and knowing that they were innocent. Uh, there's one more, uh, Ruben Cantus, it, this last meal, uh, was given to him before he was executed in 1993. He was proved, he was proven innocent in 2010. Ah, oh, how it's can you be in favor of it? It doesn't make any sense. If you were absolutely certain we were killing the right guys, then it's an interesting question. But we're absolutely certain that we're not absolutely certain. We're positive that we've killed the wrong guys and we probably will again.